I left the transfer case in four wheel drive and then I pulled the encoder motor and uh, at some point the computer got confused and thought I was in neutral or two wheel too high. And um, I could not get the encoder motor to the point the computer thought it was at. It was going to the stops. So um, I'm gonna show you something really quick. This is the encoder motor. I've removed the cover from the motor. Uh, uh, this piece comes off here. You'll have to RTV it back. It is a T15 Torx bit. And there's one, two, three, four uh, screws. You can see those, I just, I just threw them down here. Now these on the top are smaller. You're gonna take those out, they're uh, T10. There's a, there's a break in here, see my line? I'm gonna show you really quick. We're gonna release this connector. Being careful not to turn this too much. This little shaft here, if I spin that, I'm gonna do it ever so slightly. Actually, that's not even gonna be enough to show you. Um, it will move this here, the, the key that grabs the gear selector on the transfer case. And you can get it back to a point where it needs to be. What I did is I literally installed this or started to install this on the transfer case like that and I spun this until it grabbed the transfer case in the two wheel drive location when you put this back together, you're going to need some black, whoop, oh, sorry about that, guys. You're going to need some black RTV. You're just going to put a little bit around the base here because this, uh, this seals up this encoder, uh, it, the, the motor for the encoder. It's kind of ridiculous. There's probably an easier way to do this than, than tearing this all apart. I did try to... Uh, take apart the encoder portion with the gears down here, but uh, it's glued together and it got to be too tricky because I saw in some other videos, you could, uh, you could reset the gears. Then you have a wiring harness. Don't ask me, the pins for these uh, wires here come, come out to here. Uh, there's a red, a uh, black, a brown, and a orange. Um, and this is the motor that uh, turns the, the, the gear selector. I hope that helps. I did try to probe all these with a function generator and try to create the signal to turn the motor. I have no idea what signal this thing takes to turn. It's not a direct current, I don't believe. If, if it is, I had the wrong pins. I didn't try the right combination.